All right, my friends, hello and welcome back. Yeah, I'm still sipping on the same old Coors Light. Mm. Okay, so uh, Deep Throat is back. This guy is freaking annoying. Um, he only gives out little bits of information and makes Mulder figure out the rest, and then he still has no idea what the heck's going on. Um, so this episode... This episode, we learn a little bit more about Deep Throat and the information he's hiding um, is possibly going to put X-Files to an end, or could. Um, so what ends up happening is we end up having a high-speed chase, if you will, and um, this guy ends up basically getting away scot-free, then what he could find him. Um, but what appears to be blood at the crime scene, um, is not blood. It's not red blood. <laughs> and, um, then Deep Throat ends up coming into the picture and a couple of different times ends up call, uh, contacting Mulder in the middle of the night and being like, Hey dude, you got this stuff you gotta check out. He goes, I gotta give you some information, but I can't give you too much cause I, I, I can't do this. I can't get in trouble for this. So, um, Mulder ends up seeing, uh, well, he doesn't see any aliens, but he sees kind of, sort of, possibly aliens. Like, I don't really know. Uh, Deep Throat shows him a bunch of stuff and then basically escorts him out of the building and then Scully's there and Scully doesn't see anything and doesn't understand what Deep Throat said because she wasn't there and it's just kind of this... It almost feels like a mystery episode where they're gonna give you hints and clues and stuff what's coming up next season, uh, but they don't actually tell you anything. Oh, by the way, uh, this is the cliffhanger. Um, Could have done a better job. The concept was okay. The concept of this cliffhanger was okay. It just didn't cliffhanger me. Uh, I was like, okay. Okay, learn nothing from that, and there's nothing really for me to look forward to other than another possible investigation down the road. I mean, nothing actually got solved. Nothing really got figured out. Um, we didn't really learn more about any. We learned more about Deep Throat and the information he has for us to learn, uh, and he's popped into a lot of these episodes, but he's kind of this... Um, CIA operative -y, creepy guy that <laughs> he knows about all of it and yet he doesn't say a word because he needs Mulder to figure it out uh, and then Mulder needs to figure out how to release this to the public. That's what needs to happen. So that's it, man. That was it. That was, that was season one. And I am depressed with that last episode. I'm um, kind of excited to see the next episode, season uh, episode one, season two. I'm really kind of excited to see that. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do that tonight, though. It is starting to get kind of late, but and I have a bunch of editing and uploads and stuff to do. Maybe I'll get to it tomorrow evening. Um, but yeah, so that is pretty much something caught my eye. That is pretty much it um, here. So I have altered the lighting there and there. Um, it doesn't quite come out the same as it does in person. It's really vivid and bright in person. I don't know if my front light's just too dark. I don't know what's going or too bright. I don't know what's going on, but the lighting is what it is. Uh, we are going to be changing stuff up here soon. I don't know how soon. I don't know when it's coming, but... Um, I have ordered me a new camera that just happened today. So I ordered a brand new camera. I ordered a brand new microphone and microphone setup. So hopefully that shows up soon. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to, I don't know. I don't know how long it's going to take, uh, honestly, but a new microphone coming, new, new camera coming, um, I'm hoping pretty soon I'll be able to do a picture-in-picture -picture thing with you so I can put down here, like, in the bottom. I can, I can sit over here like this in front of the mic and talk to you in front of the mic. And then right here where my hand is will be maybe, like, a movie trailer or... I don't know. 
do some picture in picture. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, can't do it on the current uh, camera I'm using. Unfortunately, it's just old tech. But the new camera coming, um, kind of excited. Maybe I'll get lucky enough and be able to get it to work. Um, I don't see why not. Um, I am not running this through my laptop. I haven't been running, actually, anything through my laptop uh, for the, gosh, 90 plus percent of the videos I put up. I'm just shooting them on the camera and then loading them up. No intros, no nothing. I'm doing no intros because it saves me a ton of time on editing. I know it's not what I normally do. And um, after this month is over, I will be going back to doing intros. Don't worry. And I think I'm going to do one video a week. I don't think I'm going to do, and it'll be a bunch, like it'll be a bunch of stuff in that video. So all, whatever happens that whole week, all the movies I watch that week, if I end up getting mail that week um, or buying stuff or out and about. So there'll be longer videos. I'm thinking maybe an hour long, 45 minutes to an hour long videos with a lot of editing and that kind of stuff. That's coming up, I think, after, um, like, so for September, the, the, uh, the first Sunday in September. And I'll release them every Sunday, uh, midday, probably. But I think that's the direction I'm going on this channel. Next year, I'm so excited. I'm going to start, actually, probably before probably November or December time frame. Uh, we have a grow light tent uh, coming and I'm going to start growing peppers. The pepper shrine is coming back uh, this year. I'm so excited. We're going to be out in the garden. There's a lot of stuff that's happened in the garden. I'm so excited to bring Graham's garden uh, channel back online and show you what I'm doing, what's going on. And so I'm really excited about that. And maybe if everything works the way it should, some live stream stuff. Uh, we do have, hopefully, we're crossing fingers here a lot um, in the next month or so of possibly getting Starlink uh, so I can do live streaming. Because right now, live streaming cannot happen. Um, I'm on a DSL and it buffers and it's just a pain in the rear. But hopefully... I'm hoping, I'm crossing fingers, the money is in the budget and I can get Starlink. Uh, they finally just opened it up here in my area, so I'm, I'm pretty, pretty stoked. All right, that is it, you guys, for me right now. Um, I hope you all are having yourselves a fantastic evening. Thank you so much for hanging with me. And uh, next time I see you, I will probably have a different shirt on, which means it's a different day. So... All right, until then, bye for now, my friends. My friends, I like that. Bye for now, my friends. I like that one. <laughs>